pharmacist Sidra and in today's video we're going to talk about salicylic acid, how it works, benefits of salicylic acid and ways to incorporate it into your skincare routine. So stay tuned! First off, let's establish what is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is derived from willow bark. It's a powerful ingredient that has been used in skincare for decades. When it comes to skincare products, there are two classes of acids which you'll often see. One is beta hydroxy acid, BHAs, and second is alpha hydroxy acid, AHAs. Now, salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid. Now, both alpha and beta hydroxy acids exfoliate the skin, but AHAs, which are alpha hydroxy acids, are water soluble, while BHAs are oil soluble. Now, generally, oil soluble ingredients penetrate through the lipid layers between the skin cells more readily and excessively. And this is why salicylic acid, being a beta hydroxy acid, penetrates deep into the skin layers. And this quality is precisely what makes it such a potent ingredient for targeting your acne, especially your whiteheads and blackheads. Now, salicylic acid has a multitude of benefits for its skin. So to help you understand why it is an ingredient you should be looking for in your skincare products, let's dive into some of the benefits of salicylic acid for skin. Now, one of the most remarkable benefits of salicylic acid is its ability to exfoliate the skin. And many skin issues are caused by the buildup of dead skin cells on the surface of skin. Now, salicylic acid penetrates into the pores of the skin to dissolve any dead skin cells and any flaky skin that has built up on the surface of the skin and which can actually result in your clogged pores. Salicylic acid, what it does is it removes the dirt and bacteria that kind of builds up on the skin surface. So um, it clears the pores and it also frees the skin from any irritants which you know are caused by the clogged pores. Now by removing dead skin cells from the skin and also bacteria from the skin, salicylic acid helps to purify and exfoliate your skin and this uh, as a result kind of improves the overall appearance and health of the skin. Salicylic acid is particularly beneficial for um, individuals with acne prone skin. In particular, salicylic acid is effective in getting rid of whiteheads and blackheads that I mentioned earlier. And particularly, I want to say around the nose area and the areas which are otherwise, you know, prone to blackheads. Um, also, salicylic acid is an effective ingredient for reducing the acne breakouts due to its unique ability of breaking apart the attachment between the cells in the outer layer of the skin. Now, what it does is it allows the salicylic acid to unclog the pores, which if the pores are clogged can result in blemishes. In addition to this, salicylic acid is also lipophilic, which means it is lipid loving and the cells of your skin are also lipophilic, which means it's gonna penetrate deep into the oily skin and unclog the pores, which is gonna then provide the deep cleansing effect and help reduce the severe acne formation. It is the key ingredient for your skincare uh, because it has the ability to reduce and regulate the sebum secretion which is you know produced in the skin and one of the major causes of acne is overproduction and presence of oil on the skin which oil clogs the pores and leads to the buildup of irritants. Now, if you are looking to reduce the acne breakouts or just have an acne prone skin, I would say definitely utilize uh, salicylic acid products because it can be super beneficial for not just removing the blemishes on the skin, but also uh, removing the acne. 
Oily skin is a common culprit for blemishes on the skin because it clogs the pores and prevents the natural skin's shedding cycle from occurring. And in addition, excess oil on the surface of the skin kind of traps bacteria and dirt and irritants which can further um, inflame the skin and irritate the skin so therefore when you apply the salicylic acid on the skin the fatty compounds on the surface of the skin or the oily compounds basically uh, on the skin surface they are going to be dissolved and this is going to help clear out any of the excess oil sebum levels on the skin surface in addition to the other remarkable benefits of salicylic acid i want to say that it's a highly effective astringent uh, that can minimize the appearance of pores by tightening the skin and reducing the oiliness of the skin you know when you minimize the appearance of the pores the uh, skin kind of tightens and when you then apply makeup it goes on flawlessly and then you have that smooth appearing like you know baby skin uh, which has smooth texture no visible pores on the skin and as i mentioned earlier salicylic acid is also very beneficial in reducing the uh, blemishes of the skin uh, it also evens out the skin tone so hyperpigmentation on the skin tone uh, skin can be you know fixed also it all helps with the discoloration of the skin now knowing all of these benefits of salicylic acid i know you may be eager to add it to your daily skincare routine but it's very important to start out the minimal application of salicylic acid when you're first using it if your skin is not used to of it do not apply it very frequently because frequent use of salicylic acid can potentially lead to um, you know side effects which could include dry skin or irritation so I would definitely recommend to use it just once or twice a week just to begin with and as your skin kind of gets accustomed to it uh, then you can increase its frequency to once every other day and then gradually to once or twice a day. I personally use it twice a day and this is because my skin is very much accustomed to it. I have always used a salicylic acid uh, face wash and lately I've started using the 2% salicylic acid serum because um, I was experiencing a lot of those whiteheads and blackheads around my nose area and I must say that after using salicylic acid serum for I want to say like almost four days I started noticing that it was like a magic eraser to help clear out any of my blackheads or whiteheads on the nose. Now one thing to keep in mind while using salicylic acid is that it is very drying so your skin can get that flakiness effect so make sure you moisturize your skin very well. Also, the first time you're using it, definitely do a spot test just to make sure that you're not allergic to the uh, salicylic acid. And the way you do a spot test is that you apply a small amount of uh, salicylic acid either on the back of your neck or maybe behind the arm, just on a very small area of the skin and just leave it on for 24 hours. And if you are not experiencing any tingling, redness, uh, dryness, or you know, any feeling of the skin on that area then it's totally fine to use salicylic acid in your skincare routine another thing is that if you are using high concentration of salicylic acid to treat acne or pimples use it as a spot treatment do not use it on all over your face because a high concentration of salicylic acid on your entire face can dry out the skin and you don't want that right uh, finally, try not to combine the salicylic acid with other acid-containing products without consulting your dermatologist. You should also be mindful of other active ingredients in your skincare products like your retinols and antioxidants. Do not incorporate them with salicylic acid uh, just because of the additive dryness effect and also additive like sensitivity on your skin. In general, I would recommend to allow your skin to work with just one single ingredient at a time if possible because what happens is this reduces the risks of overstimulation or adverse reactions and uh, 
this kind of lets your skin kind of figure out what works best for you you know if you're using multiple products as a, at a time then you wouldn't really know which one is better option for you right and also don't like kind of get overboard with multiple ingredients because that's what lead to the hypersensitivity of the skin all right so this is it for today's video if you have any questions about the topic or other topic suggestions please leave them in the comments and i'll make sure to get back to you Hey guys, if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and remember to subscribe.